I am concerned about uh, the prospect of demonstrations getting out of hand. I am concerned about the possibility of violence. We have within DHS some 3,000 personnel that will be dedicated to the security of the Republican National Convention and the Democratic National Convention each, uh, consisting of Secret Service, TSA, Homeland Security Investigations, Customs Border Protection, uh, NPPD, Coast Guard. I know that there will be at least another thousand or so U.S. government personnel at hand in both places, number in Cleveland of the Ohio Guard, as well as uh, probably thousands in terms of state and local law enforcement. We have been planning and preparing for both conventions now for over a year. As I mentioned earlier, I plan to inspect the security at both sites, Cleveland tomorrow, Philadelphia next Friday. And so anytime there's a national spotlight on a political event in the United States, there's a, there's a risk that groups that aspire to do just that, to engage in acts of domestic terrorism, will be attracted. It's a threat we're watching very, very carefully. It's the reason we have hundreds of people focused on intelligence and deployed to Cleveland. Um, I don't want to talk about particular groups here, but it, there, is a, there is a concern anytime there's an event like this that people from across a spectrum of radical groups will be attracted to it. So we're watching it very, very carefully.